Hello everyone, the me and team here, uh, back again to welcome you to Let's Play Civilization 4. Uh, this time we are going to do a custom scenario. The Lonely Hearts Club slash Wrists. Uh, no, no, e viewers, I'm not going emo on you. Actually, uh, this is a isolation series. The Civilization Fanatics forums uh, hosts uh, several of these series on strategy and tips. And this particular series is almost entirely hosted by R. Rollo. It's been an excellent series, and I've been in it for quite some time. Um, today I'm going to take you through the isolated start. Uh, once again, I'm disabling events because they're gay events. And... Alright, now uh, looks like we're set to go. Um, hopefully this one's going to be a little bit different from the first one. Well, it's definitely going to be different from the first one. Because in the first one, we had a lot of early war, uh, chariot rush, and, you know, some killing of Montezuma and some real diplomatic chief. None of that's going to be present here. And the reason that's true is because we are set to isolation by default. Okay, let's play Lonely Hearts Club. So basically we start out on our own island and we are not going to be meeting any computers until optics at the soonest. You know, unless we tank our economy really horribly and they meet us first. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, we have livestock and irrigated corn. Irrigated corn is one of the best tiles in the game. And we have a plains hill start, so definitely want to settle on that. You'll get the two hammers as a production bonus for settling on top of that. We don't have agriculture to start, so agriculture and animal husbandry are the way to go. And set up in place. Definitely want to work our first here. We'll be able to improve uh, several tiles from the get-go with that tech path. Well, I might have to mine the hell before I work the sheep. We'll see. We build a map. Seafood. Got to be able to split in tiles on. Much better. Now we can all see what I'm doing. Oh man. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop some huts. Help with the uh, paying for expansion. Yeah, once again, um, I'm doing this on Emperor rather than my normal difficulty for these, which is Immortal. I am not quite confident enough to say that I have a great chance of winning on Immortal. I've won a couple in a row. But, you know, of course, the one time I do this online, I would drop one of those games and humiliate myself in front of however many of you viewers watch this. And I'd like to show how to win, not lose. Uh, most people can manage the losing part. You have discovered agriculture. Yes, yes, I can farm. Give me some food. Okay, let's see here. I'm probably going to want a unit to fog bust. I'm going to want to grow the city now that I can improve the tile. So, warrior's the way to go here. Uh, I could build a scout too, but... They're not too useful, they don't help for garrison purposes, and I still have my first scout for popping huts for the better results. Just irrigate the corn. Mm. I want some five yield tile. Those are the best ones to work for when you're expanding. Uh, one thing I haven't commented on yet is uh, Peter's traits. Well, first of all, he's from Russia. Russia starts with hunting and mining, the Cossacks are a unique unit. It sucks compared to how it was in vanilla, so I just use it like normal cavalry mostly. Uh, philosophical will lend a lot of people to go for a specialist economy. I hate the word a specialist economy though. I, I will probably farm some specialists in this game. I haven't figured out just where yet. Maybe here, if I'm lazy. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, expansive's good, solid trait. You can expand in every game. A little bit of health faster setting up the cities due to the cheap greenery. It'll help you pretty much always. But it's not like a spectacular bonus. Okay, I don't have the tech for uh, the sheep yet, so I'm just going to start on the mine, I suppose. I don't have much options other than that. In terms of tiles, th this is okay working cottages just because it's uh, going to be in my site for bureaucracy and I have a lot of riverside. 
So I'll probably put it that way. There's enough food, I guess. Barely. Okay, get that man. Eat barb animals. No, a warrior die to. A, 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 an army of warriors, excuse me, die to that idiocy. A lion killed my army of people with clubs. Hmm. You know what? We have stone pretty readily available. I'm gonna consider pyramids here, or maybe Great Wall. Well, anyway, I'm gonna sink a turn into a lion there. I'll probably switch to the sheep as soon as possible. I really want those food tiles for the settler. Well, now let them finish the mine so I can work something. I don't know what's better. I don't feel like calculating it. Hmm. Do I want to build the pyramids or not? That would allow me to run representation early. I don't know how kind of happiness I have on the island. Well, one, two, three, at least three. And the silk would get, um, and, well, not the incense, but the silk would get a bonus for the market as well. So I can get up to plus four happiness with what I'm seeing. Um, let's see here. After animal husbandry, I'll have one, two, three tiles work here. Without bronze working, I'll need to. Ah, screw it. We're going for pyramids. Okay. That means, uh, wheel and masonry. <laughs> well, I'll probably go Great Wall also. I don't want to hem and haw too long for you viewers. This could take forever if I do that. Cause it, it's going to be a longer game than the first one, most likely, already. Yeah, I'll sacrifice a little bit to get that stone. The last Russian leader in the Lonely Hearts Club also had stone uh, pretty readily available back in uh, Lonely Catherine, which I must admit, viewers, sounds a lot more appealing than Lonely Peter, and that just doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah. It's not really a good tile to work, there's better than nothing. I suppose I could have mined the sheep. In retrospect, that would have been better, because it would have been a higher yield. But, I don't care. You know what? I'm going to focus on the macro aspects of the Lonely Hearts Club, I suppose. Just, uh, heal up there. Hmm. Not a whole lot to do here. Well, the settle will be out soon anyway. So I'll just use my worker to improve a tile down here. Fortunately, if I want early enough access to the stone, I probably need to settle on this plains tile rather than you know, the sheep. I'll make that concession. It's not going to be a good city for a long, long time, other than its access to the stone. But I got some gold from huts. It's fine. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and grow here. And then I'll just start pumping out uh, more units until I get masonry or whatever. Probably another worker, at least. Haha, <laughs> barb risks. Uh, this doesn't look like a big island, and so far I don't see anything in terms of yields that suggests that we have connection to another landmass, although not everything's explored yet, clearly. You have discovered the wheel. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know how to roll things around. I need two move animals. Alright, I'm going to allow one more turn sunk into a warrior just to grow, and then I'll switch over. Probably to a worker, actually. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we've got 
masonry. Yeah, I'll just lose the stone, whatever. Alright, viewers, I'm up at the 10 minute mark. I will see you in the second part of Let's Play Civ 4 Lonely Hearts Club. See you next time.